Are you tired of paying for cloud storage? Well, I am too. And with our new office setup at home for my kids that are getting way older now, they have their own portable devices and their own PC setups, I need a solution at our house. And that is where the DS923 Plus comes in from our partner Synology. Now at our studio, we've used multiple solutions for video editing, but for my personal cloud, I've been paying about 260 bucks a year, and now my Google Drive and iCloud is pretty much full. So now I know it, this is the time for me to really step it up. And the cool thing is, this thing is not only for Macs. You can use it for your Macs, your PCs, portable devices, anything, and you get way more space and it's a one-time purchase. Now, I know some people get very intimidated when it comes to network attached storage, but with Synology, they make it incredibly easy. It's just as easy as having cloud storage through an app, but you have it locally with you as well. And there's a lot of different benefits. I can easily just drag and drop files, even wirelessly from a MacBook. I can have all my photo syncing, my wife's photos, my kids' photos, backups from our computers, all of that and much, much more in the Synology software with their different packages, which are basically like apps. So it could do so much more than regular cloud storage they have to pay for every single month until you wanna stop using it and then that data has to go somewhere. And unlike backing up your phone to a folder on your computer and it's only accessible there, with Synology's Photos app, you have access to all your photos from any device, any portable device or even the web browser. And they have a bunch of smart features which can group your photos by location, by people. So it makes it really easy and quick to be able to access your photos or your files with their drive software and be able to share those files with anybody else using a link. Link, you can even password protect it and put in an expiration date if you need to send somebody files. And the awesome thing is this thing is so much quicker than using cloud-based storage because if the file is already on there, you just send that link. You don't have to wait for it to upload and it's using up you know, a lot of storage space from your limited amount that you have and then you later have to delete. For example, we have about two terabytes in our iCloud right now and the Google Drive is practically filled up as well well. So to upload that data to another provider, well, that would take over six days with my internet at home because upload is slower than download. But with the Synology on the back, you have two ports that are regular ethernet. That would take about five hours instead on my network. And with the 10 gigabit ethernet add-in card, which I put in, it is so much quicker. Now with that, when I was transferring files, I was shocked that even wirelessly, I can edit video that is stored on this uh, NAS on my computer and how smooth it was because here at the office, we use all direct wired connections. So that was awesome having so much space and still being able to use it even with video editing, which has to be very quick. Now, as you guys see, this is a four bay solution and you can put your drives in whatever capacity you choose into here. Now I have four terabyte drives, which gives me a total of 16 terabytes. And then you could decide how you want to format it for protection. So the way I have it set up, I can have one drive completely die and I do not lose any data. Now, of course, you can put larger capacity drives in there. You can put up to 60 terabytes in this unit and you can even add on an expansion box for five more drives if you'd like to do so. And another really awesome thing about this unit is on the bottom, you have two quick access slots to add in M.2 SSDs as well to speed it up or to add more capacity. So I have to say, this thing is just so easy to set up and to use. I literally took out the little slots from the front, popped in my drives, and I, they have these quick connect clips that will just attach. You can also use screws if you would like. You slide those guys in, pop it in and you're done. And you even get a key for the front that you can lock the base so that your kids or nobody else accidentally removes them. In the box, you get the power adapter, you get some ethernet cables and everything that you need. And on the unit itself, we also have a USB port in the front 
and in the back and two of those regular ethernets included. So you can actually connect something to this and copy files automatically, even copy photos from memory cards and they can format it if you would like in the option. So it's really quick to be able to just ingest footage into it. After that, you just plug it into your network switch or your router. I have a nice router, so I have 10 gigabit ethernet there. And then you don't even have to download an app to set it up. You can use the web browser. Now, of course, you can use an app if you would like. And the whole process was just incredibly simple. Literally finds the drives. You can go ahead and format them, the actual drives inside, and you just follow this guide. It was so quick and easy. You wait for the 10 minute timer, and then you can create your online account to be able to access your data from anywhere any device, any web browser, it is secure and super easy. Now I set up the Drive app on my computer and you can have your computer back up the files just to straight have backups or you can set up a sync folder as well. That way you can sync from your NAS to your other device all the time. Now that is really cool if you wanna be able to have local access everywhere. Um, just so you kind of have a ton of options. You can also connect this to a UPS and it can automatically shut it down if your power goes out. So that is really cool. And of course the photos app that I talked about, I downloaded that on my phone. You can select if you want to have all your photos automatically transfer. There's a fast transfer mode or just your recent photos and you could set up a bunch of different users. So if you don't want to mix things, you can split up your storage and everybody can have access in back backups without just overcrowding and paying for cloud storage. Now, I have some friends that didn't wanna pay for cloud storage or they just bought the cheapest, cheapest tier and then uh, their, all their photos weren't backed up, their phone breaks or gets lost and they're in trouble. So that is what you do not want to have. So it's so nice to be able to have your photos automatically backed up and saved without having to keep upgrading your cloud storage or even worse, spending a lot of extra money upgrading your storage on your phone, which the prices are just insane for the amount of storage that you get. Now you can have these units backed up to another unit elsewhere. I mean, there's just so much different packages that you can install install and there's so much you could do. You guys definitely have to check out their website. But the whole experience was incredibly easy, both from the setup, the software, you literally have to have no experience doing this kind of stuff to be able to set it up. Now, another cool feature is you can actually connect to it directly from your Mac as a server or from a Windows to have direct access. If you just plug it into your computer, that's gonna give you ultra quick speeds. And with this, just the regular drives, you can get about 600 megabytes a second as far as your transfer speeds. And that is excellent. Even for high-end 4K, even 8K video editing, it runs super quickly. So this unit, not very expensive. You choose the capacity of drives that you want in there. You buy it one time and you can use it um, for a long time without all the monthly fees or anything else. So Synology has done a very easy job. The software is great, both on mobile, on desktop, and it just works for everything. And it's your own private server. Your photos aren't somewhere in the cloud where maybe they can get accessed or anything else. So if you've been thinking about getting something at your home that has a lot of capacity, not very expensive with a ton of features, definitely go and check these out. They have a lot of different versions, larger ones, smaller ones, less expensive, but now is the time to get something to have your data private, and that you have full control over. So let me know your experience down in the comments section below. Click that circle above to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Check out one of those videos right over there. This is Max and I'll see you in the next one.